Antarctica is one of the last regions on Earth that humans discovered. Even today though, we don't really know much about it. The environment is hostile and not easy to get to. When here you have to deal with the harsh conditions. The temperatures on the coast of Antarctica are close to freezing in the summer months. During the winter however, temperatures can be between minus 10 and minus 30. When you reach higher elevation though, temperatures struggle to get above minus 20 and have been known to fall below minus 60 in the winter. One thing that's been in the news lately is how much Antarctica is melting. Although we've been hearing this for years, scientists have come forward and said that something needs to be done. Over the last 50 years, we've seen an increase in warmer waters, and this has had an effect on the ice caps. Photographs have even been presented which shows you how much of the ice has vanished. Researchers have said that between 1979 and 1989, the Antarctic lost over 40 billion tons of melting ice. Incredibly, this number has increased since then. Scientists have said this has gone up to 250 billion tons per year beginning in 2009. This study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Researchers have said that it takes 350 billion tons of ice to rise the global sea level by one millimeter. Many of these scientists don't want to worry people, but it's also important to understand what's going on in these regions. The researchers further said that in the last three years we have lost an area of ice the size of Mexico. One researcher at the University of Colorado said the following. The fact that a change this big can happen in such a short amount of time should be viewed as an indicator that the Earth has the potential for drastic and rapid changes. Others have said that we're not ready for these extreme changes, further saying they thought we had more time. NASA climate scientists have said that losing this amount of ice in such a short amount of time means that massive changes need to happen. If not, it will affect areas across the entire planet. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, it's projected that high flooding around the American coastlines this year will surpass typical levels of flooding by around 60%. So what do you guys make of this? And how do you think we can combat this issue? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.